As of 10.14 a.m. Eastern Time on November 4, 2025, shares of Navitas Semiconductor, ticker NVTS, are trading at $12.42. This is up about 1.4% on the day, but that single number tells you absolutely nothing about the sheer chaos unfolding in this stock. After closing yesterday at $12.25, following a brutal 9% sell-off, the stock fell off a cliff in after-hours and pre-market trading, dropping as low as $10.15. Today's session opened with a massive gap down before buyers, or perhaps short sellers taking profit, pushed it back up from a day low of $11.94. This isn't a recovery, it's a battlefield, and the catalyst for this war was yesterday's third quarter earnings report, which was nothing short of a strategic detonation of the company's entire business model. If you are holding this stock, what you thought you owned last week is not what you own today. Management just told the world, in no uncertain terms, that Navitas 1.0 is dead and they are burning the ships to force a move to Navitas 2.0. The problem? They are burning all the revenue along with it, and investors are in a state of absolute shock. The expectation for Navitas was, until yesterday, incredibly clear and bullish. This was the high-flying, next-generation semiconductor company. It was the pure play on gallium nitride, or GAN, the material that is set to replace traditional silicon in power applications. The narrative was simple. GAN is faster, smaller, and more efficient. It was the future of everything from fast chargers for your phone to power supplies for AI data centers and electric vehicles. The hype reached a fever pitch in mid-October when the stock rocketed from $8 to a 52-week high of $17.79, driven by breathless headlines about its collaboration with NVIDIA. The retail investing community, which, according to recent filings, owns a staggering 45% of this company, was all in. Social media was flooded with posts about the NVIDIA partnership for 800V architecture positioning Navitas as a critical supplier for the AI build-out. The expectation was that yesterday's earnings would be a victory lap, the confirmation that this explosive growth was just getting started. The reality that hit the market after yesterday's closing bell was a bucket of ice water. It was a complete and total miss. Analysts were looking for a loss of about $0.05 cents per share. Navitas delivered a loss of $0.09. Cents. Analysts were looking for revenue of around $10.1 million. Navitas delivered $10.1 million. The stock immediately plummeted 9% in regular trading and continued to bleed out in the after-hours session, falling another 14% to 17%. But the real story, the part that is causing this morning's volatility, wasn't just the miss, it was the guidance. Management guided for fourth quarter revenue of just $7 million. That is not a typo, $7 million. This is a catastrophic drop from the $10.1 million they just reported and a universe away from the growth trajectory everyone had priced in. This is the reality check that has shattered the narrative. The online forums on Reddit and X, which were places of celebration just two weeks ago, are now filled with a toxic mix of disbelief, anger, and accusations. Traders are feeling completely blindsided, and the emotional response has been one of betrayal. What is actually happening here is a painful, public, and high-risk strategic pivot. The CEO effectively said on the earnings call that the company's original business, GAN for mobile and consumer fast chargers, is now commoditized. That market which built the company is now a low-margin dead end. So they are intentionally deprioritizing it, walking away from that revenue to focus every single resource on the high power markets, AI data centers, electric vehicles, and solar infrastructure. This is what they call Navitas 2.0. The $7 million in Q4 guidance is what management is calling a reset quarter, or the revenue bottom, before the new business begins to scale in 2026 and 2027. This is the ultimate expectation versus reality moment. Investors expected a high-growth consumer-facing tech company. The reality is that they now own a high-risk, long-term, pre-revenue R&D play that has just voluntarily torched its own income statement. The partnership with NVIDIA is real, but the revenue from it is not here yet. The market was pricing in the dream, and management just delivered the bill for building it. This pivot creates a fascinating and dangerous dynamic in the stock, especially given the shareholder base. On one side, you have the short sellers. 
Navitas has an enormous short interest, last reported at over 29% of the free float. These shorts were likely betting on the company's high cash burn and consistent losses. Yesterday's guidance was a massive gift to them. They're piling on smelling blood and pointing out that the consensus analyst price target has now collapsed to around $7.50 or $8, which is more than 30% below where the stock is currently trading even after the crash. The analysts are essentially saying the stock is still wildly overvalued. On the other side, you have that massive 45% retail investor base. Many of them are now deeply underwater, having bought into the hype at $15, $16, or $17. Their frustration is compounded by another major factor that has been a major point of discussion for months, insider selling. Public filings have shown significant stock sales by company insiders and directors over the last year. This is the ultimate mixed signal that drives retail investors crazy. The community is asking, how could management be selling millions of dollars in stock all year while telling us this AI future was so bright, only to now pull the rug out from under us with this reset? It feels like a classic case of insiders cashing out on the hype before dropping the bad news. So today's trading action, this bounce off the $11.94 low back to $12.42, is a war between these forces. It's the short sellers taking some profit off the table, colliding with a mix of panicked retail investors selling at any price to get out, and a new wave of diamond-handed buyers who truly believe in the Navitas 2.0 story and see this as the dip of a lifetime. The volume is immense with 32 million shares trading hands yesterday as the news broke, and it's shaping up to be another day of heavy trading. The company is, for all intents and purposes, a startup again. It has a strong balance sheet with around $150 million in cash and no debt, which is what gives it the ability to even attempt such a radical pivot. But it is bleeding cash, with a net loss of $19.2 million in the last quarter alone. The company is in a race against time. Can it land the major multi-year design wins in the AI and EV space before it burns through its cash pile or before its investors lose all faith? Let's be perfectly clear about what Navitas Semiconductor does. Its technology is legitimately impressive. Gallium nitride and silicon carbide are known as wideband gap materials. They can handle higher voltages, higher temperatures, and higher frequencies than old-fashioned silicon. This is a big deal for a mobile charger, but it is an existential-level problem for a massive AI data center. When you have server racks pulling megawatts of power, a 2% gain in efficiency saves millions in energy costs and cooling. This is why the NVIDIA partnership makes so much sense. The AI boom is creating a power consumption crisis, and Navitas sells a potential solution. The company holds a large portfolio of patents for its GANfast and GANSense technologies. The thesis has always been that this technology is superior. The problem has never been the tech, it's been the business. The market for consumer chargers got crowded and commoditized, a word that is a death knell for a high-growth stock. Now they are betting the entire company on the high-power, high-margin industrial and data center markets. This brings us to the future outlook. The path forward is now binary. The risk is immense. If this pivot fails, if competitors like Texas Instruments or Infineon beat them to the punch, or if the Navitas 2.0 revenue doesn't materialize in 2026 as promised, the company will burn through its cash pile and the stock will face total collapse. The $7 million Q4 guidance is a black hole, and the market hates a vacuum. We are now flying blind for at least two quarters, with only management's promises to hold on to. The analyst downgrades are reflecting this risk, basically saying, prove it. The wave of insider selling and recent share dilution to raise capital have severely damaged management's credibility with its retail base, and that trust is very, very hard to win back. The online sentiment is shifting from when moon to why dilution. But the opportunity for those with a high risk tolerance is equally stark. The company has explicitly tied its fate to the AI and EV markets, which are the two largest growth stories of the decade. The market for power GAN is projected to grow at a compound annual rate of over 40% through 2030. If Navitas does become a key supplier for next-generation AI data centers, the $7 million reset quarter will be a forgotten blip in a few years.
The 29% short interest remains a coiled spring. Those shorts are winning big right now, but they're also holding a lit stick of dynamite. Any unexpected positive news, a new design win, a non-NVIDIA partnership, or a sign that fourth quarter revenue will be less bad than $7 million could trigger a massive short squeeze and send the stock flying right back to its highs. The company is a true gamble. Given this strategic pivot, I want to know what you think. Comment below with data center if you believe in this high power future, or chargers if you think they should have stuck to their original consumer market. In the end, the Navitas story has become the perfect example of expectation versus reality. The expectation was a smooth ride to the top, fueled by AI hype and a superior technology. The reality is that the company's first business failed to be profitable and is being abandoned. The reality is a painful, cash-burning multi-year transition that has left its most loyal retail shareholders holding the bag from $17. The hype around the NVIDIA partnership was real, but it was premature. Management sold the sizzle 